Good afternoon. Um, on an earlier video, I pointed out how I had done a secondary foot lift that didn't really work out too good. So I've got a chassis here that I'm go ahead and take the uh, foot lift bar off of. And I'll show you what I mean by it didn't work out too good here later. Now, the reason I don't mind taking it from this chassis is because, you know, see down here, it's been uh, messed up. The only way that they could have put enough force on that pretty much to do that is that they move this around with the forklift and see that hanger and everything's bent up. So, you know, this here, I'll save the back half of the chassis for a project I'm doing down the line where I'm gonna put two back halves together uh, and make a mini skid steer, a four paw mini skid, because it already has the pockets for the wheel motors and the cutouts for the pumps. So then I just gotta figure out how to make one engine drive four pumps and then run hydraulic lines to the four wheel motors. Uh, and make a little little skid steer for around here uh, but anyway uh, to get this off of here I gotta I already took the clip off of this one so let's see if I can oops tools are falling on me make it so unsafe. You can't hold that and cut at the same time. Okay, so here's the mistake that I made. I put this uh, secondary lift bar on here and I don't like it because it interferes when you access your belts and stuff. And I had it uh, where it went through and then it mounted with a clip. But you see, if you needed to, it only let you open it that far, which it's always trying to drop back on. It. So I'm taking that off and then I'm going to try to emulate this one because this is the one I like the best. Uh, both in angle, height, and everything. So, uh, this one here, it didn't turn out as well. I think I can fix it, though, if I heat this real good with the torch to bend it, because basically the only thing with it is uh, it points in and up a little bit, uh, and it kind of pushes more on just one point of your foot instead of across your whole foot. Uh, but this one here is perfect in height and stagger. See, I like to have one that's more well positioned for when I'm in low cuts and then one that's a little higher with a little more leverage. And the net effect of it is that I end up sitting in my mowers kind of more like a, a zero gravity chair. It keeps my back pressed firmly to the back of the uh, seat and I don't have as many back problems. Also, when I'm on a steep hill or in incline or an angle, if my body's shifted to one side or the other, I do it doesn't matter because I've always got one lift bar that's uh, within the, you know, normal, uh, that's close enough for me to articulate, you know, to lift the deck or whatever. All right, so I gotta cut that off right here. And then I gotta cut this one down just like this, where it kind of comes deep on this back side and then round it out. And if I remember right, there was just a little bit of that second hole was sticking up above that. So it'll be sliced 
somewhere like down through here and and around here and then fit it at the right angle and height and weld it in all right let me get going on that hang on Okay, I think I got it where I want it. I've carved away at it. And uh, there's a little gap to fill on the top, but that's the way it was with that one too. Um, I don't want to keep carving away until there's no gap because then I lose the back point, which would cause me to potentially have an alignment problem like on the other machine. Uh, so by grinding it to only this degree and having that gap to fill, of the weld lets me retain this backside point which then I can clamp that in line with that and I won't have a twisted setup like I do on that other one where it's you know clocked this way or that way so if I leave that I'd rather fill the gap than to have a poorly aligned uh, control like on the other one oh, so having trouble holding everything so I threw a little tack on there um, I learned to only put a small tack because you got to check this from every angle um, basically you want to build it where it's uh, lining up this plane lines up with this plane uh, what I've noticed is if you look at the factory ones they're either like dead across or they angle away from the, the center a little bit, like out. So I kind of emulate that a little bit. You can you can hardly tell it, but I think that keeps pressure away from the ball of the foot. If, if this here was a little closer to the operator, I think that was the problem with this one. I tried to make it dead even and the natural, because I mean, if you look at that, that one's almost dead even, okay? And it hurts my foot. Whereas the factory one, it seems like it comes away from where the center of your foot would be. So I'm thinking that they did that on purpose. It's hard to even see it, but it is there. And uh, I think this one, you just gotta look at it from every, every angle until you are absolutely sure, because you kinda gotta live with it. Checking everything, make sure it's exactly where I want it.
Okay, that should do it. Uh, this piece has to rotate, so that bead right there was a little close for comfort. Uh, not the prettiest looking weld, but you know, I think it'll work. And then under here, see that grease dirt right there? I'll grease that because of that heat. I don't think it got too bad, but just in case. All right, so that gives me a second foot lift on that one. Uh, and that should make it a lot easier to run that mower with the 72 inch deck. All right, you have a good day.